Have you ever pondered about the societal norms that often dictate our choices and how breaking free from these norms can create a ripple effect in our relationships? Today, we're exploring a topic that's as complex as it is fascinating. The dynamics between child-free women and narcissistic men. This is a story of independence, autonomy, and the courage to choose a life that aligns with one's personal values. It's also a story about control, insecurity, and the struggle to maintain power in a world that's constantly changing. What happens when a woman decides not to have children? How does this decision challenge societal expectations? And how does it impact relationships, especially with narcissistic men who often crave control? These questions are at the heart of our discussion, and we'll be delving into them with an open mind and a keen sense of curiosity. So, buckle up for a thought-provoking journey. Let's dive deeper into the world of narcissistic control issues and how they play out in these relationships. At the heart of narcissism lies an intense need for control, often extending to a partner's personal choices, including the decision not to have children. When we delve into the intricacies of narcissistic relationships, we find a common thread control. The narcissist, often a man, views his partner as an extension of himself, and this perspective extends to all aspects of the relationship, including decisions about family planning. Imagine a woman named Jane, who has always cherished her independence and personal autonomy. Jane has chosen to remain child-free, not out of disdain for parenthood, but from a deep-seated desire to live her life on her own terms. She's in a relationship with a man, let's call him John. John, unfortunately, harbors narcissistic tendencies. John's narcissism manifests as a need to exert control over Jane's life, including her decision to remain child-free. He sees her choice as a direct challenge to his authority, a refusal to adhere to the traditional norms he values, this need for control is not born out of concern or a desire for mutual growth, but from a deep-rooted fear of losing control. John's narcissism fuels a need to direct Jane's life choices, to mold her into his ideal partner, one that fits neatly into his vision of a perfect life. Jane's decision to remain child-free is perceived by John as a rebellion. He sees it as a refusal to play by the rules, a rejection of the societal expectations he holds dear. This perception further intensifies John's desire to control Jane, to bring her back into the fold of societal norms, thereby restoring his sense of control and authority. The narcissist's need for control often leads to a power struggle, a tug of war between personal freedom and the narcissist's desire for dominance. This struggle can manifest in various ways, from subtle manipulation to overt coercion, all in the name of regaining control. But what fuels this desire for control? Let's explore. Narcissistic men often perceive child-free women as a threat to their ego, seeing their choices as a challenge rather than an individual decision. This perception is deeply rooted in societal norms and expectations. Picture a society where the traditional family model, a man, a woman, and children, is seen as the norm. Choosing not to have children, particularly for women, can be seen as an aberration, a deviation from the norm. This deviation can be perceived as a direct challenge to a narcissistic man's ego, especially if he views the traditional family model as a form of validation. When a woman decides to be child-free, it can be perceived as a rejection of this traditional model, and by extension, a rejection of the narcissistic man's ego-driven vision of family and success. Let's consider a case study. We have Jane, a successful career woman who chooses not to have children. She's in a relationship with John, a man who values traditional family values highly. Jane's decision not to have children is seen by John, not as her personal choice, but as a direct challenge to his sense of self and his place in society. This threat perception is not about the act of having children, but about control and societal expectations. It's about the narcissistic man feeling threatened by the woman's autonomy, her ability to make decisions outside of what he considers the norm. This threat perception often leads to insecurity and control tactics. It's a complex dynamic, one that can strain relationships and create conflict, but understanding it is the first step in navigating it effectively. When feeling threatened, narcissistic men may resort to manipulation and emotional tactics to maintain control. This is a reality that many child-free women face, but why is this so? To understand this, 
let's first delve into the realm of insecurities. Insecurities like a chameleon can change colors and take on many forms. They hide in plain sight, often masked by a seemingly confident exterior. For narcissistic men, these insecurities can stem from a deep-seated fear of loss of control or not meeting societal expectations. When a woman chooses to be child-free, it disrupts the traditional narrative that many narcissistic men hold dear. This divergence from the norm can trigger insecurities, leading to an intense need to regain control. And how do they attempt to regain this control? Through manipulation and emotional tactics. Now let's consider a case study. Imagine a couple, let's call them John and Jane. John, a man with narcissistic tendencies, and Jane, a strong independent woman who has chosen to live a child-free life. John feels threatened by Jane's choice, his ego bruised by the deviation from societal norms. He attempts to regain control by manipulating Jane, questioning her decision, belittling her choice and trying to make her feel guilty. These tactics, however subtle or overt, are rooted in John's insecurities. His need to control stems from the fear of being seen as less than, of not meeting societal expectations, of losing control. It's a vicious cycle, with John's insecurities fueling his control tactics and the resulting conflict reinforcing his insecurities. It's important to remember that not all narcissistic men will resort to these tactics and not all child-free women will experience this dynamic. However, understanding these tendencies can help shed light on the complexities of these relationship dynamics. In conclusion, the link between narcissistic men's insecurities and their attempts to control child-free women is a complex and multifaceted one. It involves a dance between ego, societal norms, and individual choices. These tactics can significantly impact the health of a relationship. But by understanding these dynamics, we can begin to unravel the layers and navigate this complicated terrain more effectively. The clash between a narcissistic man's need for control and a child-free woman's autonomy can lead to conflict and emotional distance. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this dynamic and its impact on relationships. When a narcissistic man perceives his partner's child-free choice as a threat to his ego, he may resort to manipulation and control tactics. This can create a breeding ground for conflict, leading to heated arguments and escalating tension. Imagine the scenario of Jane and John. Jane, a fiercely independent woman, chooses to be child-free. However, John, a man with narcissistic tendencies, perceives this as a direct assault on his ego and societal norms. This creates a power struggle with John attempting to exert control and Jane standing her ground. Furthermore, an emotional distance might creep into the relationship. The narcissistic man might feel threatened and misunderstood, while the child-free woman might feel controlled and disrespected. This could lead to a lack of emotional intimacy, trust issues, and eventually a chasm that becomes increasingly difficult to bridge. This dynamic could also lead to power struggles. In an attempt to regain the perceived loss of control, the narcissistic man may employ various tactics, such as gaslighting or emotional manipulation. These behaviors can quickly erode the foundation of trust and mutual respect that any healthy relationship needs. In essence, the clash between a child-free woman's autonomy and a narcissistic man's need for control can significantly strain the relationship, often leading to conflict, emotional distance, and power struggles. But how can these challenges be navigated? Navigating a relationship with a narcissistic man as a child-free woman requires open communication, setting boundaries, and standing firm in one's choices. It's about understanding that your decision to remain child-free is a personal one, and no one, not even your partner, has the right to question or belittle it. Consider the case of Jane. She communicated her choice to remain child-free early in the relationship. When her partner showed signs of narcissistic tendencies, attempting to manipulate her decision, she set clear boundaries. She let him know that her choice was non-negotiable and that any attempts to control or change it were unacceptable. Remember, it's crucial to stay firm in your decisions and not allow any external influence to sway you. This might seem tough at times, but it's a vital step in maintaining your autonomy and self-respect. Ultimately, it's about empowering child-free choices. Empowerment for child-free women involves making choices aligned with their values, not societal expectations. This is a powerful statement that underscores the importance of personal agency. Let's consider a case study. Meet Jane. 
Jane is a successful entrepreneur, an avid traveler, and a committed volunteer in her community. She is also a woman who has chosen not to have children. Her decision is not a denial of motherhood, but rather an affirmation of her own identity and aspirations. Jane is not anti-children. She simply chose a different path. She respects and supports the choices of others, and she asks for the same in return. Jane's story is a testament to the courage it takes to defy societal norms and live one's truth. It's an inspiring reminder that women should feel empowered to make choices that are in line with their values and life goals. Let's summarize what we've learned today. Understanding the dynamics between child-free women and narcissistic men is vital for healthier relationships. We've explored the control issues narcissistic men often exhibit, the clash of values, and the perceived ego threats. We've also delved into the insecurities, manipulation tactics, and the impact these dynamics can have on relationships. But most importantly, we've celebrated the autonomy of child-free women and the power in their choices. Remember, your choices are valid, and no one has the right to control them. Stand strong in your autonomy.